Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Donruss Elite Football Half Case Random Team Break Number 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com with a little bit of money that we're giving away as well and the early bird special. Wow. All sorts of things happening there. Now, I think some of you may remember that the second half filled up before the first half, number three. So this is break number three. Number four has already been done if you want to look up that video as well. Now, the early bird spot, it's the first 20, right? Yeah, first 20 spots sold in this break. Here's the first 20 right there. You were able to get an extra spot. The early bird catches the worm. So let's roll it, let's randomize it. 11 times, name on top after 11, we'll get it. One, two, three, four. And 11th and final time. After 11 times, we've got Dan. There you go. Turk. D. Turk in the chat. After 11 times, you are the early bird that catches the worm. There you are right there. We'll put your name right there. We've got the early bird spot there. Now, let's grab everybody's names, and then we'll randomize names and teams in columns A and B. So let's put the names in here. The NFL teams are not there. Come on, Joe. Just so eager to get into this break, forgot to set it up. Boom, there it is. Let's roll it and randomize those lists nine times. Four and a five, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Oliver down to SKS. Nine times for the teams. One, two, five, six, six. And ninth and final time. After nine times, we got the Arizona Football Cardinals all the way down to the Chi Town Bears. Chi City Bears. All right, so Oliver with the Cardinals, Kurt with the Saints, Mike with my Raiders, Sam with the Titans, Andy with the Chargers, Colin with the Jags, Anthony P with the Patriots, Wes with the Steelers, Barry with the Niners, Colin with the Chiefs, Rich with the Ravens, Jim with the Lions, Anthony with the Eagles, Rich with the Packers, Dan with the Giants, Rick with the Buccaneers, Scott V with the Cowboys, SKS with the Jets, Mark with the Panthers, Gabe with the Broncos, Jarrell with the Redskins, uh, with the Washington football team, Clayton with the Dolphins, Dan with the early bird spot, you have the Los Angeles Rams, Chris with the Seahawks, Mark with the Browns, Anthony with the Vikings, James, last spot Mojo with the Bengals, nice, Gabe with the Bills, Mike Kirk with the Falcons, Juan with the Texans, Mike with the Colts, and Stephen Surrey with the Chicago Bears. So let's put this all on one screen. We're going to sort by column B by team, and... We're going to pause the video. It'll allow for a little bit of trading time, and when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. As you can see on your screen, there was a trade. So Kurt and Mike uh, completed a trade. Falcons for Saints. So Kurt is out of the Fal uh, Saints spot and now in the Falcons spot. We'll put a T there for trade so you know if you're watching at home, you can follow along and see who draws first blood in the trade. And Mike Kirk, you now have the Saints. Excellent got in just before the trade window closed. The window was closing and then they stuck a hand underneath and lifted it back up and they're like, hey, wait, we got a trade. I guess it's one of those automatic windows. Maybe it was like a, like a sliding glass door that opens automatically, like at a grocery store and they stuck their hand right in there, popped right back open. Got some basketball in the background. Looks like Houston and Portland just started. And here's the final printout right here. And there you go. One of the doors from Star Wars. I feel like those doors could like slice your hand off. All right. I haven't done this in a minute or two. We've got two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. I think, I'm sure veteran commons won't ship in something like, yeah, no veteran commons ship. 
Don't let me forget about the money I'm supposed to give away at the end of this, too. Once I get to, like, the last box, and if it sounds like I'm about to sign off, like I'm doing my, my outro thing that I usually do at the end of every video, if I start to say, and that's the last card, folks, and thanks, everyone, for going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Break credit. Don't forget that break credit. I think camps just started up in football, ladies and gentlemen. They seem to be marching along. Some people are opting out, but but I guess Goodell and the NFL are just marching along, huh? No bubble? I feel like bubble, the bubble idea, it seems to be the safest. Looks like NHL and, and NBA seem to be all right for the most part, you know? Baseball is just weird. Should there be a football island? That's what Sean Jaspi is saying in the background. Remember how Fight Island wasn't really an island? That was a bummer to me. As a, as a very, very extremely casual fight fan, I got got by, the, by this gentleman who runs the UFC. Dana White, right. I was like, why am I... I, 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 call me naive, ladies and gentlemen. I was actually thinking he bought like a tiny Greek island and was building an arena there. No, not on sand. I just thought he, there, it would literally be an island. But no, no, no. But like, it's not really an island, though, right? Like, it's a man-made island. Yeah, it's, 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 it's island. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, like Dubai, yeah. I want it what like. I have nothing against Dubai, but I just thought it would be in Greece. I was, I was, I was plan, I was planning Mediterranean vacations, is what I was. Yeah, I don't know. That's all I was hoping for. Yeah, Ted, Ted and I would go back to the old country. He would, we'd go to Greece. Ted's Greek. All right, there's Tom Brady. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Rick T. And we've got Drew Drew Locke. We got Devontae Parker to three ninety nine. Got a die cut right here for the Cardinals. That's Larry Fitzgerald to eighty eight. And we'll sleeve and top load all those before they go out, of course. We got Austin Eckler, dual threats. Austin Eckler, 32 out of 75 for the Bolts. And we got Cameron Dantzler to a 7.99, and Bryce Hall to 9.90 to 99. That is, yeah. NFL should just build, just get an buy an island in Hawaii, build a handful of stadiums in there, and everyone just plays there. Jalen Hurts is your pen pals autograph, black ink, for the Eagles. Anthony Pickett with the Fly Eagles Fly. <laughs> Did he have an island? I didn't realize. Yeah, I'm sure they can get that island pretty cheap. He's not using it anymore for nefarious means. Let's, let's turn that island. Let's turn that island of sorrow into an island of good. There's Gardner Minshew to 85. He's off the COVID list now. There's AJ Epinesa. And we've got this guy right here, Anthony McFarlane Jr., rookie card. Um, these elite company cards, we're going to randomize to these to one, two, three, or four. So if, like, for example, three gets randomized to the top, they'll all go to this position right there. We'll set that at the end there. NFL has the money too. Swagger, dual relic, Rob Gronkowski. I heard in the on the old uh, the old sports talk radio that Gronkowski, or maybe it was NFL Live on the NFL Network, that Gronkowski is looking good. He's looking slim. He's looking light on his feet. That's still Patriots edition. That'll go to Anthony P. So we'll see. There's Cameron Dantzler to three ninety nine. 
I like these playing card cards. I'm into those. It's also Joe Burrow, Bengals, James Teal, Last Bod Mojo. And we've got Impact Impressions Autograph, Rashad Bashad Breland. 84 out of 149. That is for Kansas City Colin with the Chiefs. There's Lynn Bowden Jr. from our Raiders at 7.99. And there's four out of ten at Tyler Johnson for the Bucks. Does Lynn Bowden get 799 all-purpose yards this year? Over or under? I was going to say 82 catches. I think we're going to be under on 82 catches. But 799 all-purpose yards? Over maybe, right? Oh, C. Shep under? Hmm. All-purpose? I'm talking all-purpose. Rushing, receiving, and special teams. I don't know. It might take him of might take him till mid season. Yeah, there are a lot of mouths to feed there. But I don't know, one like one or two like eighty, ninety, hundred yard plays, he's got that capability. He'd be kind of quarter of the way there. John Gruden is apparently and this is relevant also if you are uh, interested in fancy football. Uh, he intends to use this, and I, and I don't know if this is just like this is just John Gruden just being uh, just doing smoke and mirrors to throw people off the the scent. But allegedly, he wants to use Josh Jacobs a lot next year. You know, he wants to ride Josh Jacobs. He's a tough. Josh Jacobs is a tough dude playing with a bad shoulder blade or something like that injury the last handful of games but Gruden is uh, Gruden believes he should have won the rookie of the year offensive rookie of the year so he wants to he wants to I don't know I guess show people the media they were wrong or something like that now this could just be misdirection but take that for what it's worth but I know the last year Raiders did do did play much better when Josh Jacobs was was setting up the pass, basically. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There's Lynn Bowden Jr. again. Over 99 yards, though, right? Might get that in one game. There's James Morgan to 799. A little different for some reason. There's a little teal in the background, but it's, it's not. All right. And we've got throwback threads. Marcus Allen, old Raider right there. 51 out of 299. We'll go to Vegas. That'll be for Mike, the Las Vegas Raiders. Mark Andrews to 399. Three out of 10. We've got a die cut right here, Justin Herbert. Cool die cut. That's for the bolts. That's going to go to Andy D'Souza with the Chargers. When does he start? Week one or after? 
points. We'll randomize this to one person in the break as one lot. Donovan Peoples Jones to seven ninety nine and Dak Prescott. Doesn't that look a little different? I see a number on it. Some sort of variation or super short print or something like that. Anyway, it looks especial. Rick T says case hit. Mike and Rick. Okay. It's like that's why it looked different. There you go. Thanks, guys. Dallas Cowboys. Scott V with the case hit. Dak Prescott. James Lynch to 399. We'll save one of the, another one of these Tom Brady's here, too. Spellbound, Derrick Henry, a bit of a dent down there to 25. That's usually as a result of a machine that pushes cards and sometimes it catches. Titan, sorry, Sam Rail. Full throttle, Minka Fitzpatrick, 349. Move that into the numbered card pile. And we've got Anthony McFarland Jr., 105 to 199 for the Steelers. That'll go to West Thomas in Pittsburgh. Grant Del Pitt to 24, die cut. So Patrick thinks Herbert will start in week three, he was saying earlier, and he thinks Joe Burr will start week four. I think Joe Burrow starts week one, doesn't he? I mean, are they really going to start Ryan Finley week one? I don't know who else is there. To 399, James Morgan. D Munn says, "Please start Ryan Finley. Why? Why? Do you, you have a? Did you have you taken a strong position on Ryan Finley's? Would that be hashtag good for the hobby? Been holding some of his cards. There it is. So what? What? So D Munn, what's your ideal situation? If Ryan Finley starts and just goes off for the first three or four weeks of the season." Right, leading to a unfortunate quarterback injury, which leads to Ryan Finley being traded to that particular team, and then continuing to go off the rest of the season. And now D Munn sitting on an amazing Ryan Finley collection. Ooh, there it is. What a story. But like, what if? I don't know. That team could use a Ryan Finley after an injury. What are teams with weak backup quarterbacks? <laughs> Demon is not even doesn't even need him to go off. He just wants him to be middle of the pack, just to get some value out of there. Straw, what's going on? I feel like Burrow starts Week One though. Although I don't know, maybe maybe due to the pandemic and the fact that that that. That working out and meetings and getting together with receivers and maybe it's harder transition for rookies this year. So yeah, maybe Joe, maybe Burrow doesn't start until a little bit later. Maybe they let him marinate a little bit more. That's true, Demon. I mean, it could be an open. It should be an open competition. Maybe Ryan Finley did get just get ripped and work on his game. Has anybody looked up at R. Finley <laughs> on Instagram? Is he any any pictures of him just like just destroying workouts? There's Antonio Gibson to 399. 
Yeah, Clayton's asking, when does Tua start? And there's Brandon Ayuk. Nice. Pen Pal's autograph, blue ink for the Niners, Barry Roberts. Yeah, I feel like they're just going to let Tua sit for as long as possible. All, it's almost like a redshirt season for Tua, right? I mean, he claims he's healthy, but why risk it? You know, you still have Fitzpatrick, I think, there. I mean, Dolphins aren't really gunning for a playoff spot anyway. So I would sit Tua, get him 100%, get a good draft pick, and just keep adding to that team. Patrick Goodwin thinks Tua starts week three. Mike and Austin was with me. There's, I think I don't think he starts this season. LaVisca Chenault Jr. to 799. Kurt thinks Tua starts week six when that Fitzpatrick when Fitz Magic turns into Fitzpatrick, basically. There's Michael Thomas to 349H. And we got primary colors, Nick Chubb. They have four first round picks next year. Yeah, I think they just I think they just will just ride with Fitzpatrick and see what happens and and they'll probably secretly, front office secretly hopes that they just go like, we'll just win three games or something like that. Dur Derwin James at 399. Get to a healthy, get him some more weapons, offensive line, so on and so forth, and, and then unleash him next year. There's C.D. Lamb, autograph, nice. Turn of the century auto, 30 out of 99 for the boys. That's going to go to Scott. J.K. Dobbins to 7.99, Joe Reed to 49. I think this will be a big year for Sam Darnold. What are we going to see from Sam Darnold this year? There's Adam Thielen, Russell Wilson to 3.99. That's a die cut right there. That's 95. Christian McCaffrey to 99. Jalen Johnson to 99. Three more boxes to go halfway through this half case break. We have a handful of one box breaks Coming up after this, ladies and gentlemen, we've got, where's my schedule here? I forgot to, to post it. Um, we're wrapping up this elite. We should be done with this in about, oh, another 15, 20 minutes or so. And then we'll do a box of uh, Prism NBA choice, pick your team five. Then we'll do a box of Obsidian Soccer. Then we'll do a Mosaic Cello Pack, number 315. And then we'll go through some more orders and we'll see what else we can get into. Remember, pack 316 plus a handful of spots straight up sells out that NBA mixer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Straw is saying schools in Ohio have postponed or canceled football season, like high schools. Hope the collegiate footballs can still be played. Yeah. I, I, don't, I have no idea what's going to happen there. I mean, I think a lot of conferences are trying to play games within conference and limiting it to that, but then that still doesn't answer the question of when those games are going to be played. everybody
And looks like Alex is saying that Prism Hobby Box to help sell out the MLB mixer is almost sold out too. Um, I think we need to do a couple more of those after that, but it's still good that we're, we're knocking out those, uh, those filler breaks. We got Kirk Cousins, primary colors relic for the Vikings, Anthony P. Matt Ryan to 99. And we've got Jake from State Farm, 8 out of 49. Buffalo! Gabe Plunker with the Buffalo Bills. Isn't that try to trade, couldn't trade mojo? Gets the Georgia quarterback. Another Joe Burrow right here. I'm sure these all add up for the Bengals. James Teal. Aaron Donald. I'm not sure what's going to happen to the Rams this year. There's Phillip Rivers for the Blue Horseshoes. Man, that looks weird, doesn't it? 12 out of 49. Doesn't, doesn't look right. Goes to Mike G and the Colts. We'll see how much Philip Rivers has left in the tank. There's Eno Benjamin to seven ninety nine. Michael Pittman Jr. to three ninety nine. Le'Veon Bell to ninety nine. And KJ Hamler. For my rivals, the Broncos. That's gonna go to Gabe Plunker, Denver. The Black Ink Pen Pals autograph. Star status, Aaron Jones. You know, Bryce, that's a great point. Bryce is like, sadly, half the QBs will be retiring in like the next four to six years, including this guy right here, Tom Brady. This the next year or two, and I heard this on the radio too, as I was driving here to work. This is for Rick T and the Buccaneers. It's kind of like uh, this, like no country for old men sort of situation. It's just like these old quarterbacks, you know, that are aging old quarterbacks that are kind of captured their last hurrah or two before their skills will significantly decline, just inevitably due to time. You know, Tom Brady is still chasing some last late career glory. You know, Green Bay just drafted Aaron Rodgers replacement, ostensibly. All right, what are some other, there's gotta be some other, some other older quarterbacks who are Drew Brees, last year or two for Drew Brees, right? What does he have left in the tank? There's a lot of, lot of, uh, a lot of these guys. Ben Roethlisberger, you know, trying to at least, I'm, I'm sure he's hoping, hey, can I, can I still put together a couple, you know, two or three healthy seasons before I hang them up? Phil Rivers in, in Indianapolis. You know, so. I'm trying to think what else. Now, those are the main quarterbacks that kind of jump out, jump out to me. Quarterback getting older, maybe trying to get regain, get get uh, chip chase, you know, try to try to get a championship one last time. So we got a got a no country for old men sort of situation here. How old's Matt Ryan? 
not not as old as like Brady Breeze and Philip Rivers, I think. And Rogers. I think he's still kinda young? Maybe not. I don't know. Actually, that's a good question, Vanilla Gorilla. Deshaun Watson Field Vision Autograph. Nice. Juan with the Texans. Nice. 11 out of 25. Let's see how Deshaun Watson does with Bill O'Brien. I don't know what, he's, what Bill O'Brien's doing with that team, but there it is. Joe, welcome back. Vanilla Gorilla Stafford will be retiring. That's that's Vanilla Gorilla's favorite quarterback. He loves him. Welcome back, Joe. That hasn't sold out yet. Still off time. Patrick saying you you he, Patrick Goodwin thinks Brady will retire in two years after winning two more Super Bowls this year and next year. That's a hot take. There's Le'Veon Le Bell to 24 die cut. I don't know, this guy might have something to say about that. Full throttle, Saquon Barkley. Tommy Stevens to seven ninety-nine. Cole McDonald to three ninety-nine. Grant Del Pitt. I feel like that that Bucks defense needs to be a little more championship caliber. There's T. Higgins, Pen Pal's autograph. For the Bengals, James Teal. James T with T. Higgins. Straw Penguin will put a million dollars. He won't win both upcoming Super Bowls. Richard Sherman to 399. Jacob Eason to 799. To 349, we've got Amari Cooper, star status. Oh, I'm sorry, DJ Shark. And Swagger. Juju Smith Schuster, dual relic for the Steelers. That's going to be for Wes. There's Dalton Keene to 399. And last box. Clayton saying Brady might not even make the playoffs. NFC South is pretty tough. Yeah, Saints are still there in the NFC South. Drew Brees' last stand. They've got a pretty good team. I mean, Falcons. They're not, they weren't too far removed from the Super Bowl. I feel like they got snake bit a little bit with that Super Bowl, and they just hadn't looked right for the last, the last couple of years or so. But they could easily put it all together. Vanilla Gorilla, do, do I think Derek Carr needs to win to at least win a playoff game? Or else what? What's like the alternative? <laughs>
Austin says Brown's all the way. Listen, Brown's a great on paper. That 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 coaching last year, Freddie Kitchens just wasn't up for it. Yeah, too much time in the kitchen. If I don't know if, uh, if they can get that team together and get that Brown scheme to click, that could be a really dangerous team. Before Gruden looks to replace Derek Carr, no, I don't think playoff win is a requirement. Raiders need to be a playoff team first. I don't think I don't think I think they're still a year or two away from that before we can expect them to be like, hey, you guys are gonna win nine or ten games and try to get into the playoffs. You know what I mean? They still have a ways to go. But I think the next two years are going to be important for Derek Carr. I think I think wins may not necessarily be the autograph. Nice. Chase Young Auto, 42 out of 49 for the Washington football team. Jarrell Taylor. Nice. Nice one in the last box. But, yeah, I think Derek Carr does need to show that he could be that player. You know, he needs to improve. As, as a quarterback, decision-making, aggressiveness, he's got to show that, you know. So I think it's less of quantity, like quant quantifiable numbers, and I think it's going to be more, in my opinion, I think it's going to be more like what can, what kind of improvements are you making with this squad and with all these new weapons that you have now. Listen, guys like Henry Ruggs and Lynn Bowden Jr. and, and Brian Edwards – a lot of pass catching weapons for for Derek Carr. They're they're still rookies though. In a pandemic, they're not getting the full like treatment, right? Camps and mini camps and all that sort of stuff. Rookie camps. So they they might take a little bit longer to really. They still got this guy to to really develop. So who knows how that's going to impact any team in the league? You know. So, but now it's like kind of. It's it's kind of a put up or shut up year or two for Derek Carr, I think. Another Tom Brady. So they just need to be able to to show progress. I think is 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 really important. To AJ Dillon, but Derek Carr has it all now. He's got he's got the head coach, an offensive minded head coach. You know, a, a quarterback guru. Some people will argue AJ Dillon for the Packers. Nice one for uh, Rich Schmidt. He's got offensive weapons. He's got a running game. Consistency with the offensive coordinator. So he just has to. He just has to put it all together now. Bryce, what about the Lions? I, I don't mind the Lions. Vanilla Gorilla hates Matt, Matthew Stafford. He the, Matthew Stafford must have kicked his dog at some point, some 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 point in the past. But. I actually, I just don't like, uh, I'm not a big fan of Matt Patricia. I don't think he's the guy, you know. I'm just not not sold on him. But I think they've, they've got some interesting pieces on that team. It's Josh Allen, Buffalo, Craftsman Relic. Maybe the Raiders will If there were fans in the stands, I would maybe argue that there could be some home field advantage. You know, for the Raiders. And if, like, Vegas was... I mean, it's open, but if Vegas was just, like, popping, like, pre-pandemic popping, like, I could see teams going into... to flying into Vegas and getting in a little trouble, maybe being a little dehydrated, if you know what I mean, for the, for the next game, right? So... But, no, I think this year that might not be it. Next year, though... Next year... Oh, thanks, Clayton. What am I doing? What am I, how, what, how much am I giving away here? Five $50 break credit codes. Here's how I'm going to do it, if you don't mind. Um, I'm just going to take everybody's names. One through five will get 50 bucks each. Sixth name will get the 600 points, which is actually not a bad consolation prize. And then that's position one, two, three, four for those cards right there. All right, so let's get some blank lists set up here before I flip screens. All right, so let's flip back to the main list right here. So that's everybody right there for the shot at the uh, break credit and the points. And then we've got positions one, two, three, four for those uh, elite 
what do they call them? Elite connection? Elite company cards. Right there. Let's roll it. Same dice roll. Randomize it. Three and a five. Eight times for both lists. This one first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. It's going to be position two. So it's going to be all the cards, the teams on that position right there will get those. Let's flip back here. Eight times for the people, for the break credit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. So seven down to 32. Thanks for getting in. Number six, Anthony, you're going to get 600 points going your way. And then 50, 50, 50, 50, and 50. Mike, Chris, Rick, Anthony, and Dan, $50 of break credit each going your way. Um, we're going to email that to you if you don't see it. Uh, it's going to come as a gift card code too, I think, some sort of code. But if you don't see it, check your spam folders. And uh, congrats again. And thanks, everyone, for getting into 2020. Panini, Donner, Elite Football, Random Team Break number three from jazpyscasebreaks.com. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.